Youths from the Cadet Corps were given gift baskets of basic hygienic items by a small group of students from the nearby Belize High School. The donation itself is less significant than the reasons behind it and the lessons being fostered by Tanya Kelly, who teaches at the school and also runs the house of Shotokan with her husband. It started as a project where Tanya's finance class started saving money, one dollar at a time. At the end of, the, of March, we had collected $150. With that $150, we created five groups, and we give each group $30. Now, with that $30, you were to come up with your own product and sell your own product. Each group chose different products. Some sell juice, some make cookies, brownies, um, ice, snow cones, and they sold it. And they collect, collected their finances. After that, they provided a financial sheet where the expenses is and how much they had made, the profit. And we put all the money together, and then we went and purchased the items. So our group, we decided to sell orange juice and lime juice, and we made $88 with that. And with that, you guys put together to get the baskets to give to the Youth Cadet Corps? And with other groups too as well. But our group was the one that made the most. Okay. How important do you think it is to help uh, groups like the, the, the Cadet Corps? It feels very good knowing that other people are going to benefit from stuff. Those items include lotions, shampoos, soap, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrushes, and other basic necessities. But this donation is worth much more than just its face value. The Cadets is a group of youths that are on mile 21 on the Western Highway that are youths at risk. And we want to teach them that there is another way. You still have hope that when you graduate, you'll become somebody. And our teenagers from the Belize High School, we want to teach them to appreciate what the parents is giving them in education and to take education more serious. But at the same time, learn that you share. Shehan Ray Kelly has been working with the cadets for the past six months as physical fitness trainer, three days a week. I train them, I work with them, and I just love doing it because it's, uh, it's something that I enjoy doing for my karate and working with young people, especially with those at risk, um, always be there for them to listen to, their, uh, listen to their issues and listen to their plea and at the same time help them out by guiding them and providing solid guidance that says, si se puede, I know you can do it and to let them know that there are people out there who care about them. This is, an ex this is an example of exactly what you're saying, where we have other youths, their age group from another high school or, or, or Belize high school, sharing and caring and showing them, yes, we do care. Even though I am here at school and you guys are in the cadet corps, you know what, we do care, and this is one way of doing it. The gift baskets also included chocolates, since Easter is just around the corner. Mike Rodon for New